uses a single, consistent interface to control computing from both on-premises and public clouds. A. Anthos B. Cloud Functions C. Volumes D. App Engine The software used to communicate with cloud storage. A. Ignit Earls B. Cloud SDK C. Sudel D. Cloud Shell New Spanner Database Creation Command A. Cloud IAM Service Accounts Create B. Cloud Functions Deploy C. Cloud Projects List D. Cloud Spanner Databases Create A product that the service provider controls and maintains. A. Software as a Service B. Infrastructure as a Service C. Platform as a Service D. Cloud-based application NoSQL database that is fully managed and has a simple query syntax. A. Cloud SQL B. Cloud Data Store C. Cloud Big Table D. Cloud Memory Store You can define the JSON root of properties in JSON output with a kubectl command. A. kubectl exec B. kubectl get svc Hodgson path C. kubectl create secret D. kubectl apply A program execution service that responds to events by running code. A. Cloud Functions B. Compute Engine C. App Engine D. Cloud Data Flow What command would you enter to configure the Cloud SDK's default settings? A. Sudel MB B. Cloud Compute C. Cloud Init Why would a GCP client use resources spread across numerous regional zones? A. For better performance B. For improved fault tolerance What kind of cloud computing service offers basic computing, storage, and network, structured like how it would be in a physical data center? A. FOS B. IAS C. SOS D. POS you require your colleague to upload a fresh copy of your application to App Engine because you are the project owner. You should adhere to Google's suggestions. Which IAM roles ought you assign to your colleague? A. App Engine Service Admin B. App Engine Deployer C. Project Editor D. App Engine Code Viewer Is interacting with a human at the cloud computing provider necessary to obtain resources from them? A. No. B. Yes. Why would a GCP customer need to use resources in different parts of the world? A. 
to improve security. B. To bring their applications closer to users around the world and for improved fault tolerance. Which of the following belongs to the Cloud SDK's command line tools? A. Soodle B. Git C. SSH D. Bash You need to run several exploratory queries in BigQuery as cheaply as feasible. What ought you to do? A. Set the job priority for each query to batch and expect to see query results within 24 hours. B. Set the job priority for each query to batch and expect to see query results immediately. C. Set the job priority for each query to interactive and expect to see query results immediately. What feature must be enabled for Compute Engine to support managed instance groups with load balancing and auto-scaling? A. Health checks B. Metadata C. Security scans D. Network endpoint groups You need to configure services to host a mobile application that uses TensorFlow Lite models. Which services ought you to employ? A. Firebase and AI platform jobs. B. Cloud functions and ML kit. C. Cloud functions and AI platform jobs. D. Firebase and ML Kit. Your GCP project does not have access to GCP organizations. Which kind of account do you have? A. Free tier. B. Temporary. C. Organizational. D. Local. A picture from a compute engine needs to be encrypted. What must you accomplish? A. Associate your image with the default Google Managed Key to encrypt it. B. Nothing. Images are encrypted by default with a Google Managed Key. C. Associate your image with a customer-managed key to encrypt it. D. Nothing. Images are encrypted by default with a customer-managed key. Redis must be installed on GKE with distinct persistent IDs and consistent host names. How do you use deployment objects? A. Python nested template. B. YAML configuration file. C. GCP deployment. D. Stateful set. Google Cloud Platform Certification GCP Test is a certification that validates your knowledge of Google Cloud Platform. It is a great way to boost your resume and improve your career prospects. Getting this certification requires time, dedication, and effort. In order to succeed, you should practice, study the official documentation, and take sample exams. Google Cloud Platform Console is a browser-based web admin tool for managing Compute Engine resources. Its features include a customizable project dashboard, billing, and a filterable activity tab. It also provides recommendations based on the user's work pattern. The user can pin services for easy access. 
Moreover, the toolbar at the top of the screen offers quick access to notifications and settings.